I'll tell you, a few years back, I couldn't imagine having Dallas Startup Week in Dallas. I just think it's, it's so cool. We've not always been known as a startup uh, machine. I mean, in fact, over the last probably 20 years, we've been a big company sort of city, big Fortune 500 Still are. place. But as we started to think about what Dallas needs to be in the 21st century, <clears throat> we felt that making sure we're a place for our entrepreneurs is extremely important. That we have are a place where, they, where great ideas can come, flourish, find venture capital, find support, find a community. And in fact, a lot of people have been working hard on this over the last few years, and here we are today in Up Global and Chase, have uh, chosen us as one of six inaugural cities for Startup Week. It just, it really does say something about this community and about the people that have worked hard on it. I don't know why Dallas kind of lost its entrepreneurial edge, because <clears throat> when you really look at the history of Dallas, it has entrepreneur all writ, uh, you know, written all over it. A um, guy named Ross Perot came to town from Texarkana. Texarkana and started a thing called Electronic Data Systems, EDS. And that was, that was startup before startup was cool. And it was tech before tech was cool. You have Mary Kay Ash who decided that, you know, you can sell cosmetics to women, not in stores, but home to home. And they are the, one of the leading cosmetic companies in the world today. I was over in China and the tens of thousands of Mary Kay associates uh, that are over there all started uh, right here in Dallas. TI, uh, 50 years ago, we had a mayor by the name of Eric Johnson and Eric was an executive at Texas Instruments, coming from New Jersey, starting a company in Dallas, Texas, and, and really kind of uh, the rest is history. And there are more and more companies like that every time I turn around um, to see what uh, um, uh, people can do. It's, it's amazing to have a city of opportunity here. So this week is important. This week is a celebration as opposed to a learning experience. Um, we had our first DFW hackathon on Saturday, or Friday night and Saturday. I, this was really strange. I kind of read about it, but I didn't actually realize that people would drive that far and stay up that late and uh, to, to show computers to one another. And, uh, and I'd never been in a room, honestly. I, I, to college and everything. I've never been in a room where a hundred percent of the room was smarter than me. Okay, I mean these people, these kids were just amazing uh, in what they've been able to do. I want to thank the folks that work hard at this, the Dallas Regional Chamber. It's something that uh, is on a strategic initiative for them for a long time. Uh, Downtown Dallas Inc. Uh, and the City of Dallas. The City of Dallas has been working hard. Uh, at there are different initiatives to make sure that we have it. We all need uh, uh, cheerleaders, and that's what we are, but we're, hopefully we're self-accelerators as well. Hopefully we give honest feedback, and to me, that's what's so important in business. <clears throat> the, the bad thing about business, to me, is when you don't have a feedback mechanism, customers or uh, the marketplace or something that says, I'm doing something right or I'm not doing something right. And this community hopefully uh, will do that over the years. I want to say thank you to you to have the courage to say, you know what, I got an idea and this is the sort of lifestyle that I want to lead and I want to kind of venture out and, and do that. The, it is a challenging thing to sit like Trey did in my office to kind of pitch for capital. You know, because you feel, you know, like, like you're not worthy or something. And the truth of the matter is you are. And that's what this city's about. We need ideas. We need lots of ideas. 
We need ideas that, uh, that push the envelope and that we think differently, not only about the marketplace, but us as a city as well. I'll tell you, this is, uh, we've got a lot of tracks that people are gonna work on this week. Uh, I'm amazed at, at uh, some of these, <coughs> excuse me, some of these things from real estate to education. I'll tell you, big industry education. I mean, huge, huge. There's a lot of money to be made in education. And a lot of people say, you're not supposed to make money in education. I'll tell you, it's our greatest need in, in the United States of America in the 21st century. There's no question. Some people say healthcare. I'm gonna tell you, I, I'm, I, you know, we'll just die. As old people will eventually die. It's the young people that need it, okay? And, and what we're gonna do to become a better learning um, um, uh, country, a learning city. I love fashion, okay? You can just see I'm so fashionable, okay? <laughs> no, actually, I like this text with food. That's how I've spent my whole life in the food business and uh, the, the startups around that. I always say that to be rich in America, you gotta do two things well. One is have a great idea. The second is be able to scale it. You know, and, and you can see that in the food industry. Somebody will create a great restaurant or a great food product. The point is, can it go to, uh, throughout this country? And, and that's what I look for in business leaders in my private equity uh, capacity. Is this person have the ability to organizationally scale, scale uh, what is so important? You're gonna talk about funding, you're gonna talk about health, social entrepreneurship, probably change. There's probably no industry that's changed more in the last 20 years is really uh, the nonprofit and the social world about how uh, collaboration takes place. Um, and then lastly, I was talking to the head of the World Council uh, of uh, Travel and Tourism, and he said, he was, he's uh, from England, he said there's not a, an industry out there that is going through more massive change than the travel industry and, and what is going on. So there's a lot to be learned, and there's a lot going on. I just want to tell you on behalf of the city that you, I've got your back and, and I've got your front. And uh, I want you to, I'm sorry, the weather's so shitty. Okay, excuse me. But you're not supposed to say that if you're videotaping me. You get that little word out there. Um, the, uh, it's the only honest thing you've no, said so I'm, far. We've got, a, we've got a great downtown. It's, it's coming on in a major way. Uh, if you're not from this place, uh, please go spend a lot of money. Um, there's, uh, on, on the other side of the river, uh, I just came from there. It's it's hopping uh, down that direction. The south is, is hopping. Uptown is hopping. So there's a lot of fun stuff to do uh, while you're here in town. And I just didn't want you to come in and leave without me saying congratulations. Let's make this happen uh, great this year, and then let's do it again next year. Thank you very much.